Hey guys, NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to the start of the next Let's Play. It'll either be counted as Let's Play 15 or 16. It depends on what I decide to do about my Just Cause 2 Let's Play, if I decide to get rid of it or not. But more importantly, this is the start. Sorry I don't have the camera quite right. Let me see if I can get that just a little bit better. Ah, much better. So yes, the next Let's Play is Freedom Fighters. It is a PS2 slash PC game. It's around, I think it was made in like 2003. Okay, 1945, Soviet Air Force drops the atomic bomb on Berlin, ending World War II in Europe. 1953, Britain reluctantly joins the communist bloc, the last European country to do so. Despite U.S. protests, mid-range nuclear missiles are placed in Cuba. I wonder how many videos are going to get copyright notices because of the music. 1976, the Soviet Union sends thousands of military advisors to Guatemala and Honduras. 1996, Mexican Communist Party celebrates disputed victory in presidential election. 2001, foiled assassination attempt on the U.S. president. An unnamed foreign power is implicated. Yesterday, reports of low-flying drones from all over the USA. Government dismisses the sightings as weather balloons. Oh, that was too much. Oh, well. I'll get the camera. I'll make sure it's right for the next video, but it, sh it should be good enough for you guys. I mean, you might actually be able to see me in the background right now, but that won't last for long. I'm just going to sit away, actually, right now. Interestingly enough, since my controller is wired, I can hardly reach it. Now, I'm going to admit one thing. This game was made in like 2002, 2003-ish. Therefore, the graphics are not that great. And also, the a lot of areas are really dark because this is, you know, an, an occupation, freeing from an occupation-based game. So, the quality isn't always going to look amazing, obviously. So... Freedom Fighters, yes, that is the title of the game. So, let's go on and get started. So, checking. And I'm actually recording this during the day. I usually don't record during the day. Uh, single player. We're going to create a new game. We're going to be playing through on the Rebel difficulty. This is the medium difficulty. This is the easy, medium, hard, very hard. So we're going to be playing through on medium. And we are going to, excuse me, create a new name for ourselves, which is going to be very uncreative. And it's going to be L, where's P? F. Yes, let's play file. So uncreative, but let's roll. Freedom Fighters. I really do love this game. It's a great game. It's a really unknown, but great, amazing game that I really wish a sequel was made for. Even though I think they confirmed that they might want to do one someday. But it is a really, really good game. And even though I'm not the greatest player at it, and I'll get more into this a little bit later, I love this game. And I only have it because I basically stole it from Lizard Guy. Okay, he actually let me have it. Very happy. Anyway, when I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. Cold. Damn, I look like an idiot still holding the drinks I've been for all night. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. He bought the glitch. Let's get on with it. What's up with the worksheet today, bro? Hmm, let's see. Isabella Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. Uh, do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we'd get a fancy condo on the east side with a few... Whoa. Isabella Angel whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against Reds movement? Yeah, I saw her on TV yesterday. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap like you do. What do you mean, conspiracy crap? Well, doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. You know what? 
Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Mm. Right. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. Look, speaking of which, how about this press stuff? I'd really like to check out the Fleming on that Isabella chip. Oh. Hello? That Mom was wrong. Anybody home? Sure needs a drain surgeon here. There is one here, please! Don't move, remain calm. Whoa, well, hey, stay cool, man. I'm just a plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? Hey, she's not there. I will ask again, where is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think, I mean, she's, look, she's not... So, our protagonist character, his name is Christopher Stone, or Chris as he's usually called during the game. He is the main character, as I just said. He is sort of a leader of this resistance that we're about to see. So this first level is taking place in the invasion of Manhattan. So, the invasion of New York. That is where the entire game takes place in New York, various places in New York. But that's where the game takes place. So, first things first, we want to get out of here really quickly. You can hit R2 to do a melee attack. Now, we are currently using... Did he die? Yep. It is fortunate that you found me. Quickly, this way. Now, we are currently using a wrench. This is something that we're going to be carrying with us at all times. Hit R3 to activate your wheel right here. Uh, we will always, at all times, be using the wrench. The soldiers are sure to find us here. We must find another hiding place. So yeah, we are always using the wrench. We always have the wrench. It's basically a two-way melee kill on most enemies. Perfect! It won't trouble us anymore! You hit L1 to climb and jump. So, this game, I will admit, has very, very strange controls. But for the most part, it's a great game. We must linger here! Glitchy! More so what you want to do is hit R1 to fire. Now, you're probably asking about an aim down sight function. There is an aim down sight. You have to hit L3 to do it, though, so it's extremely awkward, and you have to hold down L3 to aim down the sight, the not even really existent sight. It is a third-person shooter, and it is somewhat of a real-time strategy game, like a very early version of one. A very early version of, like, a shooter-based uh, RTS. Now, you're basically going to be fighting through the entire game, doing as I did there. You can hit R2 to melee still, just without the wrench. Your melees just don't do as much. So no matter what, you're going to get hurt there. And we're going to have to pick up these health kits. What you want to do here is switch your weapons wheel. You can either hit L3 to bring it up, or you can actually just hit a combination of the bottom and right buttons to activate your health kits. You, are ready for you, that. you can only carry eight health kits at a time, and they can be used to heal you, civilians, or other freedom fighters, which I will get more into that later on. Uh, with the gun itself, the handgun, the pistol that we're using right now, it's one of two potential sidearms you can have, and there are six primaries you can have. Uh, the pistol has a 17-round clip and can hold 43 in reserve, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So we want to heal this guy here. So yeah, that actually is a freedom fighter, though we can't actually lead freedom fighters just yet. He actually gives us charisma though, that's an unavoidable event. Whenever you free civilians in the game, you will get extra charisma for it, as, will, as you will get for doing additional objectives, which I'll get more into that as we move on. The game is divided into eight total areas. Each one has anywhere from just a single sub-area to five sub-areas in the final part. Uh, Molotov cocktails are basically grenades that honestly work better than grenades because they go off instantly versus the grenades taking a few seconds to go off. And the soldiers tend to run away from the grenades, which is something that I didn't like about this game. So the grenades really aren't all that helpful for the most part. The Molotovs are much more helpful, in my opinion, than the grenades. I would much rather have them all, except that the grenades actually work really well on the armored enemies that we'll be fighting later on. Because don't worry, we'll be fighting other types of enemies, and we'll be getting other weapons too, but there's only eight total weapons in the game. There's only a, one other sidearm, and it's crappy as heck. So 
Okay, now that we've taken all of them out, we shall continue on over to here. You can, you will always have the wrench with you, therefore you can always do what I'm about to do. Approach the manhole cover and open it up, in 10 minutes into the video. The we can escape to safety below in the suit. All right, so we're getting an auto save. There's gonna be more options later on when we go into these. So there's a lot of explaining I'm gonna to have to do over time in this, in the next video or two. My PS2 sounds like a freaking jet engine right now. That's probably not a good thing. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but it's like making a loud noise. <laughs> We're gonna get one of these every time we complete an area, not a sub area. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces, welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education program at our training facilities in Alaska. Meanwhile, I will make sure you get all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in your troubled country. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for years by the plight of the poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. Today we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from further hardship, and we will soon restore law and order in a new rule of government. And we expect and believe that every citizen will spare allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile and dealt with swiftly. Our great leader, Comrade General Tatarin, will be addressing the nation later. So on behalf of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future. That does not sound right. This PS2 is probably going to be the first of my systems to go, probably faster than my GameCube. So you're going to get a new thing like that after every area you complete, because as I said before, there are eight total areas. Well, aside from the very last area, you won't have it. So pretty much we are rowing into the base, and I'm just going to skip this. You can skip cutscenes with X, because this is being played on the PS2. And I gotta talk about a couple things next video involving the usage of, you know, a PS2 versus a PC. Because the game is slightly different, but I'll get more into that later on. Okay, so pretty much this is the Rebel base. Uh, for now, there's hardly anything here. Later on, there will be more gear here that we can take. So yeah, you can hit the buttons on the directional pad to more quickly switch weapons and stuff. Hotkey. So this thing, it's the hub world. There isn't too much here yet, but it will expand a lot as we play through the game. It's a safe zone. Restore so, next time, we will launch our first attack on a location, being the police station. We will liberate our leader Isabella next time, guys. So, I'll see you then.